can't turn your phone up. Hi everyone, we're going to be starting in just a few seconds, so grab your sweet treats and we will get everything situated. Hi Dana, hi everyone. This is our first Facebook Live, so it's gonna take us a moment. Oh, you get a, ha ha, we're back. All right, we have two minutes. We have some more friends that joined us. Thank you for joining. Grab your sweet treats and we'll see everyone in a few minutes. Oh, hi, Samir. Hi, Demond. Welcome. Grab your sweet treats. We know you got them. Ha <laughs> ha. And we'll start in a few minutes. Oh, Samir misses Demond. Yes, Samir, we did take a picture at your house. Uh, thanks for noticing. <laughs> and nice uh, wreath on your door. Great job. 
All right, and I am going to welcome our executive director, Laura Maines. Thank you, Sid. The folk clapping, I really appreciate. Oh, you clapping. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to our virtual sweetest event. We are so glad to have you here, and we are so, so sorry that we can't all be together. Um, as you all know, when COVID hit back in March, we started scrambling to figure out how we could still do uh, our, sweet, our sweet treat fundraiser. And so I want to, before we get to any of the other thank yous, give a huge thank you to Jamie and to Sydney, our dynamic duo, uh, marketing and development team. They have done simply an amazing job with all of this. Coming up with the idea, putting together the sweet treat boxes, uh, filming me right now and taking care of all the technology and so it's really been um, it's really been a challenging few months and they have really risen to the occasion so I really want to thank our, our uh, marketing and development team really tremendous job as you all know um, I do want to assure you that even though I'm not wearing a mask right now uh, we were masked up while we were waiting uh, to be filmed and Sid and Jamie are the only ones here with me they are also wearing masks um, and so when the, you see them on camera without their mask, just know that we are being, um, we are being very careful. Uh, thank you. People are loving the hat I'm, I'm hearing. Thank you very much. We had to be a little bit festive. Um, hopefully you are all enjoying your sweet treat boxes at home and that you are uh, enjoying having a, uh, an event that you don't have to get dressed up for. I'm enjoying wearing comfy pants and very comfortable shoes this year. Uh, instead of being all dressed up. So that's the one really good advantage of having a virtual event. So thank you for having us come into your home for a few minutes tonight. Uh, I want to move on and thank our sponsors, uh, PNC, UPNC Health Plan, Interim Healthcare, Boyer, Paltic, and Everly, and Dr. Samir Singh, our dynamic board member and sponsor. Uh, we also want to thank everyone who purchased a sweet treat box. Because we couldn't sell tickets this year, obviously, uh, that was really how we uh, raised a lot of our funds, and so we really are grateful for that. Uh, we want to thank all of our donors to all of the delicious items in your sweet treat box. Uh, and as always, we really want to thank our board of directors, our staff, and our junior board, who have just been really tremendously supportive of our little event this year. So thank you very much. A couple of things you can do to help us as you are enjoying, hopefully if you got a sweet treat box, you're enjoying Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, uh, maybe some cocktails. We wanna ask you to like, comment, and post to our live and to all the other things we're going to be posting up tonight. So keep an eye out on the Every Child Facebook page and make sure you're interacting with us and sharing because we'd, we'd love to get more of the word out about Every Child. Uh, if you do that, there's something in it for you. Uh, you will be entered to win a very special prize that we are not gonna tell you what it is. Uh, so you're just gonna have to like, comment, and post, uh, and hopefully, hopefully you'll win. Uh, make sure that you tag us in all your socials at Every Child Inc. and hashtag Grown Up Playdate, hashtag Sweetest Fundraiser, hashtag Grown Up Playdate at home. So if you could do that, we would really, really appreciate it. I wanted to take a couple minutes and just share with you some of the amazing things that we have done. I'm going to set this clipboard down because we don't need this yet. Um, I wanted to talk to you about some of the amazing things that we've done this year. Uh, as we've talked about in past years, we really expanded our family-based offering to include specialties in OCD and autism. Those have really taken off uh, and we've seen a, a real increase in demand and increase in case numbers. Um, for our work helping families impacted by OCD and autism. Uh, we are very excited to be introducing this year the Every Child Clubhouse at Highlands Elementary School. We uh, have a team out there that's going to be offering community and school-based behavioral health services. So what that means is we are going to be working with students in the school. We are putting together a really amazing uh, therapy room for kids to come and hang out and work with our really talented therapists. And we're also going to be working with those students' families in their homes so we can really truly wrap services around the kids and families in Highlands Elementary. And so that kicked off 
in September, and we're really excited. It's a hybrid team of some new folks joining us and some folks who have been with Every Child for a while, um, and you'll be hearing a lot more about that over, over the coming year, but we're, we're very, very excited. Uh, I also wanted to share a little bit with you about our COVID response. You know, I am incredibly proud of our staff. We never stopped seeing families, and we never stopped seeing families in person when we needed to. So whether it was foster care, our in-home service providers, or our clinicians, we really worked closely with families right away from March up till today and beyond to help them process all of the stresses and challenges that come, as we all know, with um, living through a global pandemic. Uh, staff have been really careful about wearing masks when they're going out to see families or maintaining social distance. But we know that you know, the families that we work with have a lot of challenges in the best of times. They are struggling with a mental health diagnosis. There may be issues of trauma. There may be issues of abuse or neglect in the home. And then to add a global pandemic on top of that really just ups the pressure. And so while some other providers were uh, reducing their services or shortening their, their duration or not seeing families in person, every child chose to lean into that and make sure that we were there for families when they needed us most. And I, as I said, I'm incredibly proud of our staff for really stepping up and getting creative in how to best help, help families. Um, for our staff, we have uh, closed the office. Uh, we have a skeleton crew of supervisors and executive leadership that is working in the office on an alternating schedule. And all of our direct staff are working 100% remotely. And that's to protect, protect staff and make sure that every child is able to continue providing services for as long as, uh, as COVID continues. So um, I, as I said, I'm incredibly proud of, of every child. It has not been easy. Uh, it hasn't been easy for any of our staff and they've really, really stepped up. So um, if you're supporting every child, you're really supporting the best. That, that, uh, that Pittsburgh has to offer. Uh, I we have another event that we've also had to pivot a little bit. We've talked to all of you about our Parent Up program. Uh, and this really, we started thinking about it over a year ago, and we thought, you know, parenting is really difficult. And we have a lot of expertise within our agency, and we also have access to a lot of expertise all over the Mid-Atlantic region. And we thought about how we could bring that expertise to support families in our community who may not be getting services from every child and may not need services from every child at this time, but just need a little extra support, need somewhere to go to ask questions that maybe they don't, they don't know where else to ask. And so we initially thought about doing a Parent Up program where we would bring parents together uh, in person and have regional experts address specific topics whether that be anxiety in teens, bullying, uh, drug and alcohol abuse, uh, suicide prevention, long list of, of parenting challenges. And when COVID hit, we thought we still really want to bring this resource. And so again, our dynamic marketing and development team figured out a way to make it virtual. And so from now until through February, uh, February? April. Through April, thank you. Through April, whoo, time is flying by. Uh, from now through April, every other month, we have a, a, a regional expert who will be giving a presentation on really um, huge topics of interest. Our next one is in November, and it is going to be about suicide prevention and recognizing depression in teens. It is completely free to participate and you can get more information from our website. So we really would encourage you to do that and to let your friends and family know that that's an available resource. We're, we're super, super excited. Um, as I said, we've been seeing families throughout all of this, and the work that every child does is needed now more than ever. We've really, our, our staff have done a tremendous job, and we've gotten some thank you notes from families that really tell their story that we would love to share with you. Uh, just as a caveat, these are not word-for-word -word thank yous. We compiled them from a number of responses that we got from our, um, our, the families that we serve. We wanted to make sure to protect their privacy, so names are all made up, and the 
circumstances have been um, combined in a way that, uh, that their anonymity is being protected. But I want to invite Jamie first to come on camera, and she is going to read one of the letters, and then Sid will follow her, and I'm going to jump off so Jamie can take her mask off. So we'll be back. Hello, everyone. Um, I don't have a cool hat like Laura, but I guess, uh, I guess I'll maybe I'll get one next year. So, uh, dear every child, uh, when we came to every child, we had lost hope in our parenting, for our child, and in our family. We didn't know where to turn. Everything was a struggle. I remember how loud our house was with the arguments, the chaos, and tantrums. It had become our normal. We knew we needed help but didn't know where to turn. We thought we had tried everything and nothing was changing. On that first night with you, we knew something was different. You listened to us together and individually. We never felt judged and you were there for all of us. Our house slowly became calmer and eventually the chaos and anger was replaced with calm, joy, and laughter. As we continued our journey, we stumbled and you helped us get back up. You taught us the skills we needed to keep going. As we talked about last week, we are scared that our time is coming to an end, but we know that we have this. You have prepared us and given us the tools we need to keep moving forward. Thank you. And Sydney is now going to come up and read a letter from a foster and adoptive family. child to me. I've always known I wanted to be a father. After years of fertility treatment and a failed adoption attempt, my wife and I came to every child with our arms open. I was a bit weary and leery of the process. From the moment I spoke with someone from every child, he put, it, put us at ease and we knew where we were belong. We were where we belong. <laughs> uh, you empowered us through foster parent training and when we took in our first child, you supported us with every question. Fast forward two years and ten reunited families later, we are getting ready to adopt our son. We can't put into words how thankful we are we have been on this journey with you. For the joy each child has brought into our life, for the kindness and expertise of our social worker when we didn't know how we were going to say goodbye. And now the life we get to share with this amazing little boy. Thank you for everything you do. And I am going to welcome Laura back. Okay, thank you so much, Sid and Jamie. Um, as you heard, the work that we do is, is pretty powerful. And our mission is to strengthen communities and empower families by providing family support and clinical services. The important part of that is we empower families. So when we come into a situation, the services that we provide are really family driven. They are our partners in deciding what's best for them and our goal is to give them the tools they need to be successful and not need us. And so that's always what our, what our focus is. And so I hope you'll agree, um, we've done some really important work this, this year and we couldn't have done it without your support. Which brings us to why hopefully you're all here and that is to spend some money on our auction. Uh, our auction deadline is October 11th, which is Sunday at 6 p.m. So you have until then to get your bids in. Uh, we would encourage you to bid often. <laughs> and all of that money goes directly to the services that we provide, training for our staff, um, and other enhancements, whether it's extracurricular activities for kids in our care, um, additional trauma training for our staff. Um, it really makes a difference in the quality of care that we're able to provide. We have it's the website, sorry, got a little distracted. Uh, the auction site is 32auctions.com backslash grown up play date. You, if you haven't done it already, what are you waiting for? But if you haven't done it already, uh, you just go to the website and then create an account and you can bid to your heart's content. You will get an email when you've been outbid, so you can very easily click right back in and, um, and up your bid a little bit. So, um, so please, please, please make sure you go in and create an account. We have lots of good stuff, which I am going to tell you about. Thank you. Uh, we have a treat.
treat yourself basket, which we don't, I don't think we have an example of that one. Um, but it is lots of good chocolate, a little bit of booze, um, and some wine glasses. So we really encourage you to take a look at that. We have a tech tower uh, that is an Amazon Echo Dot, Amazon Fire Stick, lots of other cool stuff. We have a one-week stay at a South Carolina home in Myrtle Beach. It is absolutely beautiful. It is four bedrooms, um, and it's really, it's, it's really beautiful. It sits on a little lake um, and is very close to the beach, so that is up for grabs. We have uh, a relax and rejuvenate, and if you can't relax, you can get Botox so you look relaxed. Um, so take a look at that. We have quarantine essentials. I was going to show you the toilet paper, but I feel like toilet paper is a little more available right now. What is real gold? Clorox wipes. So we have a basket of toilet paper, Clorox wipes, other, other cleaners. Uh, these are really hard to come by, so I would definitely encourage you to bid for that. Um, now I've lost my place. I should have just been throwing these to the side as I went through them. <laughs> okay, quarantine. Let's see what else we have. We have a kids fun pack. So if your kids are driving crazy at home with quarantine and homeschool, um, these are a bunch of games that they can learn how to play and keep them busy. And it includes a bike, which I wanted to ride in here. And I just want you to know I was overruled. Um, oh. <laughs> but it, it's a very cool bike, so that's a great one. We also have a Gamer's Paradise. I'm just going to leave it at that because I don't know anything about it. But I told it's super cool. I'm not a gamer. Jamie assures me it's awesome. It has an escape room. It has an escape room. Four board games. And four board games. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Uh, we also have our gift certificate to Larimer's. It is a $1,000 gift certificate to Larimer's. So when we do come out of working from home, you can be the best dressed person in your office, or you can get some real fancy pajamas and be set either way. So we really encourage you to, to give those a try. We have day trips that are super fun. Everything is within a day's drive of Pittsburgh. It includes passes to Cavern Hut at Laurel Caverns, fun for all passes, uh, two adult tickets to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, one year membership to the Carnegie Museum, uh, a four grandstand tickets to the 2021 Altoona Curve, four tickets to Heinz History Center, a free day of bouldering at Klein North, lots of, lots of really cool stuff. So, Day trips are where it's at. We are very excited to have our Disney trip again this year. We have 10 one-day park hopper tickets to Walt Disney World. You and your family can go between Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Disney's Animal Kingdom, and Hollywood Studio. For clarification, because we all know that Disney is a bit of a mess right now, we love them, but uh, these tickets are good through February 26, 2022. So you will be vaccinated and ready to go by then. Um, it also comes with a two bedroom, two bath, spacious villa rental with a full kitchen, complimentary Wi-Fi, washers, dryers, furnished balcony at the Marriott Cypress Harbor Villas in Orlando. So start planning that vacation now. I think we have a couple more. Pittsburgh eateries. We have some really great gift cards in a giant package. Um, and we also have a booze basket. We have every kind of booze you could possibly want. Um, but if you're a scotch drinker, which I am, the Glen Fiddick is really, really good. So uh, please take a look at our descriptions. And we really, really urge you, bid often. We have good stuff on there. Um, I also want to remind you to like, comment, and post. About every child, hashtag grown up play date, hashtag grown up play date at home, hashtag sweetest event, sweetest fundraiser, sweetest fundraiser, uh, sweetest fundraiser. So please make sure you do that. And you can also donate 
Uh, you can donate through the auction. Uh, it makes it really easy. So if you're bidding, 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 and you don't win, uh, we really encourage you to take your bid and just move it right up to a donation. You can also donate through our website, but why would you do that when you can donate through the auction and potentially get some cool stuff? Um, we also want you to save the date, October 8th, 2021, under the big top. We are going to have an amazing circus-themed grown-up play date. I am going to have a much, much bigger hat. Whether I will be engaged in any sort of aerial acrobatics is a matter up for debate. I, right now, I'm at no, but we're going to see. I, I think we might be able to get uh, our, our, our board chair, Kevin, to do a little aerial for us. Woo! Go, Kevin! <laughs> so please keep that in mind. Mark your calendars now. We are confident and wildly optimistic. We are going to be able to be together in person on October 8th, 2021. Until then, again, huge thanks to Cindy and Jamie for a tremendous effort. Thank you to all of you uh, for hanging in there this long. Uh, we really appreciate it. We hope you have an amazing weekend. And uh, thank you so much for being here. Ha Kevin. Kevin said game on. Kevin! <laughs> awesome. Awesome. All right. We'll be in touch. We have lots to plan for next year. So everyone enjoy being in your jammies tonight. One year from now, we're going to be dolled up and at the circus. So have a great evening, everyone. Thank you.